Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're gonna talk about something called the ORAC rating, okay? This is basically the capacity of antioxidants to fight free radical damage. Free radical damage basically alters the stability of the cell membrane, so it can really throw off the whole cell. The cell is constantly fighting to stay whole, but free radical damage from pollution, from UV light, from radiation can disrupt this. Now, ORAC values do not measure the specific type of phytonutrients. They don't measure um, the amount of phytonutrients. So there's different aspects of uh, antioxidants or phytonutrients. So I just wanted to focus on this one aspect of phytonutrients, okay? If you look at chili powder, it's 23,000. That's pretty high. Broccoli is only like 1,300. Thyme is 27,000. Black pepper, 27,000. Ginger, 28,000. Pecans, 17,000. Pecans have the highest ORAC value of any nut. Sage, 32,000. Curry, 48,000. Basil, 67,000. Parsley, 74,000. Cumin, 67,000. Cocoa powder, which is 80,000. Turmeric, 159,000. Oregano is 200,000, which is really good for um, an antibacterial, antifungus. It, it does create a little bit of a detox on some people, and that's why I recommend grapefruit seed extract instead, but this is a really good antimicrobial. Cinnamon, which is also really good for uh, diabetes and blood sugars, 267,000. Clove at 314,000. This has the highest ORAC value. So if I look at this whole scene, there's one thing that just kind of pops out, and that is that most of these things are spices, okay? And certain spices go together. Cocoa powder, cinnamon, and clove. Uh, I'm gonna put a link down below of a, a kind of a nut granola that we made with cocoa, cinnamon, clove. So you can make that. These are very, very high. So I put a couple links down below so you can get more information on this, but definitely start adding more spices to your food. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It was called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then, 
you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.